There is midnight. Little <laughs> <Not all> midnight. <laughs> Morning to you, light. It's really hard to just give birth and then your baby gets taken away straight away. So we're here at the postpartum section. There's Jasmine. Hi. Our little boy's here. He's arrived, but we're not able to be with him right now, which is really sad. But I know he'll be okay and we'll be with him soon. Yeah, I'm just sad. It's like so weird having a baby and, and then you can't be with them. I'm sure it's the worst angle, by the way. I'm sure. I don't even think you can see me. It doesn't matter, don't worry. But, um,. Yeah, no, it's it's really hard to just give birth and then your baby gets taken away straight away. I'm just having a hard time. We're hanging in there, but we're going to be okay because we know he's there. We just miss him. That's all. All right, now that Jasmine has delivered the baby, they put us into the postpartum section, which, I mean, it's not... It's not bad, but if you compare it to the other room, it is a literal pile of ass in comparison. So, yeah, here's Jasmine, the person that you actually yes. care to see, not me, but unfortunately you have to deal with oh, me. I know, I haven't been filming in like the last day. It was intense. In the delivery room, I ended up having a really high fever, so I had to go on antibiotics, and they were keeping an eye on me really closely um, for... A long time and then around what was it around three o'clock they came in and checked my cervix and I was at 10 centimeters dilated I was gonna do some practice pushes around 340 I had to get my epidural touched up um, I had to get a push epidural because basically the medication had worn off on one side of my leg and um, so I was starting to feel some kind of pain like some kind of contractions so I had to get a push one and then my ear, my hearing went so I couldn't hear anything so we had to come back, rush back in and make sure that there was nothing more serious going on after I had the push medication. And then I started to push around, almost around like 3.40 Yep. and he was delivered at 7.02 so I had constant contractions. A.M. A.M. 7.02 A.M. Yeah. So I had constant contractions. So it was like a long basically three and a half hours it's fishing. graphic it's very graphic you could i, I don't think i can fine. explain i don't think i don't think i could explain what it's like to see a baby's head come out of a vagina very very different very different it was exciting it was like the best day of my yeah, life but it's also too. it's also when you when you first see it you just go holy fuck how is this gonna happen it was intense but unfortunately he is not with us um so that I was know. like the hard reality of things that can go wrong and um, basically he had poop but he had pooed inside um <laughs> the amniotic sac so basically good job son <laughs> shit in your mother's belly <laughs> yeah so basically he is in the um the NICU um which is intensive care um because he struggled to breathe when he was born um which was hard because you're so excited and you want to be with your baby, but I want him to be okay and to be in the best of care. So he was born on the Sunday morning. Uh, this is now Monday afternoon, so I'm getting to see him and hold him. Um, but I'm just in a lot of pain and I want to be as energetic as I can. I'll show you guys my bump. So this is my bump now. It shrunk so much. It's literally like a little cone head. Yeah, that, it doesn't really and that'll go away eventually. Exist. Yeah, we'll try and get some footage of the little guy soon. I don't know when you'll see it. You might not see it in this video, but you might see it in the next one. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, keep you guys up to date. And sorry if I'm a shit filmer. Uh, this is this is Jasmine's thing, not mine. I'm just a guy. But postpartum, you guys, I have to explain to you how I'm doing and how that all goes. Because, yeah, it's, it's actually more intense than giving birth. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's intense. Um, so just the Hello you guys. Oh my goodness, my face is like so swollen, but basically apparently that's what happens after having 
an epidural and because I had a fever and things like that when I was in labor they had to give me more fluids so basically everything in my body is so puffy like my eyes are so puffy I have been crying though because of the situation but I have to try and stay positive I did see my doctor Alyssa and it was nice to see her um, and she came in to check on me and obviously it made me feel better and the nurse that we had delivering our baby Jessica oh my goodness she's amazing and she definitely lightened the spirits last night and this morning so basically right now I have just got ready I have still got my night going on my bump is still kind of there but it's like it looks like a little cone can you see it's like a little cone it's so weird you guys like generally it's like the most bizarre thing ever but um i do have a picture and i will be taking like updates of it so you guys can can see it and um, the progress but my feet are so swollen like it's so bad um so they have to check on them a lot and i have to be on a specific diet so no salt no sugar basically just a really really strict diet until it all calms down and I'm so out of breath you guys like generally oh, like I try and stand I can't stand for very long and then moving hers and I've worked out that if I sit for too long my bum gets sore my bits get sore so I'm walking around but I do feel like I can move a little bit more easier today so he was born on Sunday this is now Tuesday and um, so I feel a little bit better today which is good and we are going to go and see the baby. So the progress on him is, so he came off his feeding, and his feeding, well he took the feeding tube out, but he wouldn't feed because yesterday they had to implant like an IV back into him and do all these tests. And he was just so tired, so I didn't get a chance to breastfeed him yesterday. Um, so he didn't really get to feed, so he got a feeding tube put back in. Um, and he did come off his oxygen, but unfortunately he got put back on that. Um, during the night so we're gonna go visit him now and see how he is um, and hopefully get to hold him and I'm getting discharged today so that'll be good to get back home and have some home comfort see the dogs um, and then they did say that I might be able to breastfeed him tonight so we'll see um, if we can go back tonight but it just sucks because you're leaving the hospital without your baby and it's meant to be one of those happy times where you go home with the baby but unfortunately we're not doing that but we're glad that he is in good hands and that we will get to take him home when the time is right. So yeah, so basically that's what I'm doing just now. It's just a quick update. Um, I'm going to film some TikToks to try and make myself feel a little bit better, take my mind off the situation a little bit um, and then take some time out for Maverick and I and take care of our little man. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry you guys, I'm just like really struggling. That is the update for today. So this was our bathroom. Um, I had like all my products over here and the hospital provide. So I just used them um, and the time being I do have some stuff at home um, and then we have the shower um, we didn't like to be honest I wasn't really allowed to use it because I had an IV most of the time because of my fever but um, I cannot wait to have a shower you guys and here's our sink nothing too exciting like generally when I wash my face um, because of the tap and things like that I kept like hitting my head so every time I would wash my face I would end up hitting my head so I wasn't covered in water you guys and um, they did provide you with like a little shower gel and um, Maverick shaved his face this morning so there's lots of beard hairs there so apologize um yeah so this was our basically our bathroom we had a little view as you can see outside sunny day it was rainy yesterday um, so yeah, and they gave me like a big bag of supplies, guys. So we're excited. Um, okay, so what else have we got? So we have Maverick, he is here. He is not listening to me though. Hmm. Oh, my Instagram, my back hurts. This is my bed, you guys should see my bed. Look at this, this is where I sleep. It's a 
pile of ass. Cedar sign it. Upgrade your upgrade your chairs. <laughs> this is it's so it's like it doesn't look that bad because I just took like forty pillows and I made it a, a bed. But it is terrible. And look at me, look at yeah, my I bags in my eyes. Oh me too. I feel like I look like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, so this was our bed at well my bed and my bag and stuff and some gowns because I'm gonna take them when I go in the wheelchair. My breast pump, um well, some juice and some things. Um, and there was one I need. But oh my goodness, my basket stores. I'm going to like turn this off right now. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So you guys, we are leaving. We have been dispatched. Here's Mavic and his chips in his pocket. <laughs> so we're just grabbing up our things from our room. And then we're going to head out in our pink wheelchair. Oh my goodness, I feel like I, I literally came in in this outfit and then I'm leaving in the same outfit because it just is comfortable but the bump is not there very as much as it was but it's still there you guys, it's not just going to disappear. Yeah, I'll feel you guys in when we get home. We're just going to get our things and head out. Okay, so I wanted to add this little clip in because I actually forgot to film when I got home. Um, I think because I was just so sad at the time and couldn't stop crying. Nothing made me happy and I think it's one of those things that's hard because as I said before, you expect to have your baby, it's a happy moment. And obviously it was really happy, it was like the budget, like literally the best day of my life. Um, okay, so obviously I was really happy, it was literally the best day of my life. But also like one of the worst because you hear that your baby's going into an incubator and there's nothing that I can do. You know, you're you're pregnant, he's protected in your belly and then you can't protect them anymore and I think that was the hardest. And then just leaving the hospital and we tried to stay, we wouldn't let us stay and just coming home without him and seeing the bassinet and next to our bed and just all of his stuff that was ready for him to come home and he wasn't there and it was, I had an empty belly and it was just... It was really, really hard. Yeah, no, it's like a, it's a bizarre feeling because you, you, like Jasmine said, I basically will say the same exact thing, but it's, yeah. it's the truth. Like, you're so happy he's there, and then all of a sudden they just take him away within like, you know, two minutes of being born, mm -hmm. and that two minutes feels like seconds because it's, you know, you're like, oh my god, this is crazy, and then they take him away, and I don't think they can really tell you how long mm -mm. he's going to be gone for. So I think that's just such a challenging thing because you're like is he going to be here for months is he going to be here for weeks and then you see all types of like you know situations in in the icu for babies it's really sad you see kids that have been there for months and months and it's just just it's don't know it's just it's really it's really terrible but bringing basically you know being in the postpartum section and then seeing all of the, the other the parents babies, yeah. yeah and then hearing the babies cry and we're sitting in a room just the two of us just being like, this is hard. Yeah. This yeah. is hard hearing everybody else celebrate and other babies crying in the rooms next to us and we didn't have a baby. Yeah. Um, that At least really it hard. could have been a damn comfortable room. It's like I the worst know. room in the world. <laughs> so to make light of a, a crappy situation, we're in this shit ass room. Yeah. And then, and then everyone has their babies. If we, you know, but if you had your kid, you wouldn't even care. No. You know, it doesn't matter where you're staying. You're but, just like, uh, oh my goodness, this is like torture because you hear all the babies and you just want your baby. And I was only allowed to really go see him when I was better and I had energy. And because of my situation, I really couldn't really move that well. And oh my goodness. But we'll get into that. But yeah, um, coming home without a baby is really hard. And having a baby in the ICU is definitely really difficult. Um, it's not something anyone plans for, obviously. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it's I mean... Personally, like, you know, I was obviously trying to be like, don't worry, whatever. And then, like, I don't know, just like Jasmine said, just like mm -hmm. leaving the hospital, you're sort of just like, this just feels so wrong. Yeah. It feels so off. Like, you're just, you just left your kid who's just like, yeah. you know, a day old, two days old. It was probably about two or three days old by the time we left. 
and then you're in the car and you're just like this is just it's just so mm -hmm. sad and then i get we got home and i was just like this is just terrible and it's terrible because like i was so used to having my bunk and having him there and you just feel empty it's like we're meant to be in this car with our baby within this car seat and we're it's two of us again and we're prepared obviously we're that's us we're family of three and our four dogs um but yeah yeah, I know it sucks, so. Oh my goodness, you guys, so we just got the call that baby's coming home, so we're on our way. Oh my goodness.